This program is intended for mature audiences and may contain some material that is not suitable for everyone, including violence, coarse language, and unfiltered opinions. We do not endorse the views of those we report on. I want to ask her to meet your wife. Um, <laughs> um, so, um, in other words, we're not reducing... It, it's it, What you're doing, I don't think... Um, is total reduction. But what would you say to a young student um, open? Holy fuck, man, you know. But anyway, hot dogs by the bond. The trolls even the trolls even wish they were having hot dogs by the bond. Oh, yeah, those look good. Mm -hmm, and they are. Oh, wait. I forgot. I don't cook. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You only do microwave on. <laughs> you know that, right? You only nuke it. Mm. Only do microwave. Uh, don't cook. Mom, why are you such a useless piece of shit? Like the trolls say, oh, you don't I'm do buddy, it. I don't know. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out, and I can't seem to figure it out. But how come you can't be more like Larry Frost? He's a fat fucking piece of shit slob who just stays in bed all day. And and, and who and who owes thirty six thousand dollars in back rent? You know that uh, you know you would think the trolls would be all over that shit, right? This, this is a convicted criminal, folks. You better be you better be sure because I tell you right now, Vaughn, Vaughn, you making it sound like the trolls care whether he's a convicted tr criminal. They're, they're, they they themselves are convicted criminals. No, that's the thing. They don't care. They don't care. That's, that's the point. Together, Vaughn. You know that birds of a yeah. feather flock together. Yeah, they they don't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't care. They're convicted criminals themselves. They like that. They think that's mm -hmm. cool. That's why they don't like you, Vaughn. You're you're a straight lace kind of guy. You keep you keep to the law. They don't like that. They don't want goody boys. They they want fucking hardened criminals. They want fucking nasty people to hang out with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The wife is uh chit chatting with me. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. But yeah, man, I mean, you know, where where's the where's the hue and cry? From these supposed do-gooder YouTube trolls that, oh, all we're doing is calling Vaughn on his bullshit. Okay, well, why aren't you calling Larry on his bullshit? Huh? Why aren't you calling Larry Frost on his bullshit? Why aren't you calling Ronnie Ray Frost on his bullshit? How the fuck does somebody that didn't go into the Army until 2009 can somehow get on the fucking Internet and say that I'm copying off of his ass? How the fuck does that work? I was in the Army in 1983. Actually, 1982 is when I first went in. So I went in in 1982, December oh, 1982. Ronnie, Ray, Ronnie, Flank, Ronnie Ray went into the military, what, 09, you said? It, 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 yeah, I think it was 09, uh, 2009. I think it was 2009. He's a young buck. How old is he, 20 years old, 25? No, he, no, he's older than that. He's, I don't know, 30s or something. I don't know, something he's like 30. that. Okay, so he's my age. And you know, could could uh, First Sergeant Moore to put that JHJRE three shit on there to you know as a one last fuck you to me? Yeah, he probably could have. He probably could have. He, he told me J so First Sergeant Moore, First Sergeant Moore told me to my face, "Get this fucker out of my army." And I looked him in his face and I said, "Fuck you, motherfucker." My parents, my, my parents, grandparents, and great grandparents, my entire fucking family served in the from the Revolutionary War right on up until uh, recently. And every goddamn one of them served with distinction. So get your fucking mouth off of me. And he didn't have nothing to say to me because I, every bit of that shit's documented. But but the point is, is that, you know, these these guys did not like me. That's true. And they, they tried to dog the fuck out of me. That's why I got along with the brass so much better than I did the NCOs. Because the, the wards, for whatever reason, they just did not like me. I don't know why. You know, and it, it wasn't like I was some slacker or something. I was out there at the motor pool busting my ass. Taking care of my tank, you know. Someone, someone like Todd, someone like Larry, they couldn't make it a fucking day in, in boot. Would have made it a one fucking day in the military. I guarantee it. They That's couldn't right. even get off. They couldn't make it through the box fucking pickup on the bus. No fucking way. No fucking, no fucking way. way. Right. But but here's the thing. The point is is that uh, I was not drummed out of the military. I was not kicked out of the military. I I did not have a dishonorable discharge. I was not. Um, you know, nobody, I mean, like I said, I had the blessings of the commander of the base. Okay. So anybody's opinion, uh, they can go fuck themselves because I'm the one that lived it and they didn't. General, the fucking, uh, 
uh, tall gray army. You were a fucking alien from the tall grays. You, you landed on the earth. You were a fucking military commander. You know, you have a military base in the middle of the earth. You know, fuck mm. it. Yeah, you're you're part of the secret island of Atlantis, and, and you get fucking... <laughs> Get down, y'all. You ain't get my hot dog. Get down. I got two I got two puppies here wanting my hot dog. You ain't get my hot dog, dog. But, um, well, here's it. Like I said, John, you know, I mean, how the fuck can I be copying off of somebody that didn't go into the military until 20 years? 20 years. Ray you know, is a party sack of shit. Is he is he bothering you, Ronnie Ray? What's what's going uh, on? Ronnie Ray Ronnie Ray's Ronnie Ray was on 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 uh, on Father Judgment his live show saying that I somehow copied off of his military service. I said, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? What in the fuck are you talking about? I think, I think he's, I think he's high or some shit. Wait, wait, who's, who's father judgment? Is that Snyder handyman? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought we were getting on good terms with Snyder handyman. He turned on us again. He's back to being a hater. He never was on our side. <laughs> well, he kind of, well, he was kind of, I don't know, drunk, and he was like, oh, I want to talk to you guys and be and, be, and get along, and now I guess he went back to being a troll. I don't know. I don't know Key word, he was drunk. I, I drove an M60A3 with TTS. He drove a goddamn M1, so we didn't even drive the same fucking tanks. Vaughn, they're butthurt, Vaughn. They're, they don't have any, they can't be like you. They wish you were, they they were, they look at you like God in a kind of, in a way, they in a warped way. They wish they could be like you. They can't be like you. They model their whole life after you. They, you're in the military, so they have to be in the military. That you drive a tank, so they have to drive a tank. That mm -hmm. you're, you got the big red one, so they have to have a big red one. You know, they just, mm -hmm. they fucking model. It's like they're, they're narcissists that fucking wish they were better, but they're not. They're fucking yeah. losers that fucking model you like God. That's basically what it comes down to. I mean, don't you think? I mean, isn't that what it comes down to? That's what it. That's what it. You know, I, yeah, I can, I can see where you can make that analogy. Absolutely, because. I mean, who in the right mind spends 20 years of their life uh, aggravating the shit out of somebody in, in, in nowhere, Kentucky, that they do not know, that has done nothing to them? Because that was the first thing the FBI asked me. They said, well, what did these fucks do to you? What did you do to these people? I said, I didn't do shit to them. I don't know these motherfuckers. I don't know them from Adam. And they said, oh. You know, I and, and they said, well, what do you think caused it? I said, well, I used to make these videos years and years and years ago before Obama even became a senator called Abomination Videos where I exposed Obama as a non-American. He came over here on a failed student loan visa. He became a CIA operative, and he was working in the D.C. offices stuffing envelopes, and I made videos about that shit. And ironically... Ironically, I got my information from Hillary Clinton and CBS News, for fuck's sake. You know, that, that bastion of conservatism, CBS News, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, so, I mean, you know, my, 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 my information was sound. My information was 100% sound because it was coming from the Democrats. It wasn't coming from Republicans. It was coming from Democrats. I just did need some laundry, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, sure did. Did need some laundry. Now I've got money for soap powder. Motherfuckers, you know, yeah. I, I love I love fucking CPS, man, and I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy suing the shit out of CPS because the motherfuckers, <laughs> you gotta clean that fucking trailer. Well, you know what? When you ain't and, got no and you went through money, all that trouble and they didn't even fucking do and then, anything. And then, and, then, and then I did clean the fucking three hundred dollars cleaning that goddamn trailer. And I get to I get into court and the judge says, "I'm not that interested in the trailer. I want to know how much rent you got, and I want to know." Why these people keep calling CPS out to your house? You know, well, I can't control what other people do. You know, and that shouldn't have been levied against me, but it was. But, but uh, in any event, you know, it was not because the children were never, ever in any danger. I had never broken any laws. Nothing was wrong. It was the fact that everybody kept fucking calling goddamn motherfucking CPS out to my goddamn house. Meanwhile, little kids in Kentucky were dying because no, there was no CPS workers going out to those houses to save those children. And I think those deaths should be levied against the trolls personally. Because had they not called CPS out to my house, CPS would have actually went out and maybe saved those kids' lives. 
The potential was there. And see, that's that's not right. That's not fucking right. But see, it, it just it just aggravates the shit out of me. You know, eighteen. You know, according to a Kentucky congresswoman, every time CPS come out to my house. 18 children died in the state of Kentucky. Why? Because CPS resources in Kentucky are limited by their own admission. By their own admission, their resources are limited. And so when they're coming out to my house, fucking with my kids, real children right here in Kentucky are dying, literally dying. And I think those deaths should everyone be Absolutely. Laid I agree with that 100% on that one. Yeah, they should. They should be levied. Those deaths should be levied against the trolls. They should be charged with it. Now, obviously, you can't charge them with murder one, but you can charge them as an accessory or something like that because um, – or accessory after the fact or whatever. Why don't people start calling the fucking CPS after these trolls? Uh, you know, it's interesting. They don't do that. Some, why don't someone swat Todd? You know, it'll never happen. It'll never fucking happen. Someone should do that to Todd. Todd, de- Todd deserves well, what about, it. What about sock account? What about sock account? Sock account's online, live. Talking about fucking animal genitalia and human genitalia.